每个企业都跟我们的生命一样，我们会在生意上感到绝望、迷失，或者是太多选择。当然，我们会走到成功的道路上。每逢星期一到星期五上午十点和下午三点，我们都会邀请 Singapore Excellence Award 的得主上我们的节目，跟我们分享他们的心路里程，还有他们的成功的道路。这个节目是由 Singapore and Rich Group 荣誉呈现。我是阿宝，非常感谢你们收看这一期的封面人物。在这边呢，我觉得每个企业家哦，在选择行业跟产品的时候，都是一门学问跟一门讲究。在今天呢，直播室里面呢，邀请到两位企业家呢，加起来哦有三十多年的经验，从事什么行业呢？那就是从事办公室的。家具，今天呢很开心，也很荣幸邀请到就是 d d a b u s Private Limited 的负责人来节目当中，他们就是 Andrew， 还有呢 Miss 朱玉云哈。Hello， Hi guys， 你好，你好，你好。原来三代 Both of you act together， we have more than thirty of your experiences in、uh, system furniture itself。So can you share with us why system furniture and not other kind of furniture？ Okay， um。Basically, we are、uh, we started with system furniture、mm -hmm. when we were very young, so I think it's naturally that we take the same business、uh -huh. with us. Yeah, just move into this industry itself, right? Yeah, exactly. And you know, I think more importantly is the passion behind the the, the system furniture product. Passion. Yeah. That's the key. Do you know what you're the okay? I come from event management. Yeah.、Uh, I have a background in this area itself. Well, I'm always doing um system. Uh, furniture listing for exhibitions, uh, trade shows and stuff like that. But I'm so sorry, I can never find passion for <laughs> this system itself. Can you please share with me how can you find passion in system furniture, both of Miss Chu or even Andrew? <laughs> okay, I think uh, first of all, you must appreciate the product. Yes, then once you appreciate the product, you go in depth into the product. You basically get to know more of the product. Yes, and from there you develop the passion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wanting to do more for the product itself. Yeah, and that's why you really go in depth into the business development. Sure, yeah. but but you know, pardon me, as in like you know, system furniture. We all know that we we sit in all this furniture in office itself. Not too boring. Yeah, they are so hard. They are so cold. It's so standard, you know. Every furniture, every company that we go to, practically is all the same.、Uh, How do you develop the passion in these furnitures? Oh, <laughs> because I understand that you have been in business for twenty over years、yeah. in this area itself.、So. There must be something that's so attractive that you decided to stay on. I think the idea about system furniture is um, I mean, having built up the experience over the years, um, I think we can provide a lot of solutions、sure. for our client. So I think in that aspect, we feel that we are the right person for the so-called the client.、Wow. And I think having said that, I think the other thing is um having this opportunity to start a new company on our own. I think it also gives us the opportun opportunity to nurture the young,、Definitely. the younger so-called generation. So in that sense, it also add on to the passion.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, not just sharing the expertise that we have. I think it's also about sharing the dreams that we have.、Oh. Yeah. So I think that's the passion that. I mean, that's also part of the passion that we are talking about. Yes.、Yeah. Just what Miss Chu mentioned that you think that you're the right person for this business, correct?、Yeah. I think that is a very confident statement to make because、yeah. a lot of us might not have this confidence. Hey, I think I'm the best person for the business and、mm. stuff like that. Can you share with us where or when or even how you build up the confidence to think that you guys are the best team in Singapore itself to provide the best solution for the clients? I think it is expect because we deal with different clients, so、mm -hmm. all of them has got different requirements. Definitely. Yeah. So over the years, again, we accumulate the experience in that sense, you know. Um. So when we deal with a new client, we are able to bring them to different scenarios to ensure that they are so called、uh, aware of their total requirements. So、mm -hmm. in a sense, so in the event we feel that they are not on the right 
so-called track, we can so-called uh, broaden their view to look at the uh, certain perspective and broader aspect. So I think in that sense, we help them to uh, really consider their options. Yeah. <laughs> well, then you must take this opportunity to educate mm -hmm. us. How sexy are uh, system furniture? <laughs> 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 or how different perspective that we can take a look at system furniture? Because, we, okay, as far as I'm concerned, I only know that, okay, you know, in a cubic, standard yeah. cubicle, this is only the furniture, a panel, a desk, and a stool, that's all. Mm. But how, or what are the things that we can play with system furniture then? Okay, I think to clarify the uh, perspective of system furniture mm. being a boring so-called furniture, yeah. I think it's not really true. Um, there are many ways or many products out in the market that you can actually buy and configure it to your requirement. Sure. So it really depends on what is the culture that you want to create for the organization. Ooh. Yeah. So that based out the culture. Then with the culture in mind, then you tailor or so called tailor make the furniture or the design to suit the culture. If you are op adopting a very open culture, a very creative, innovative culture, I'm sure you want to play with colors. Oh. And furniture is something that you can play with colors, sure. shapes, the form. So that actually helps to transform the so-called environment of your office. Wow. Yeah. So actually system furniture is interesting in that way that you look deeper into it and you are able to find the gem in the system. Thank yeah. you because you're the, you guys are the first one to make me have a different perspective towards <laughs> system furniture. Okay. Imagine, okay, we also know that the, uh, the Dabbers has been around just only for about three years but I know that you guys have very great clientele on the list. Can you share with us some of your clients and how do you manage to convince them to be part of your team instead? Um, okay, um, I think we really appreciate the support from all these clients. Mm -hmm. And clientels include people like United World College. We have been with them for the past two years. Mm -hmm. We are now their corporate suppliers. And also Cummings. Cummings has been with me from the old company to now mm. for more than eight years. Wow. Yeah. And I think what makes them wanting to go with us again is because of our service mm -hmm. and I think the deliverables that we produce to them. At the end of the day, we are talking about adding values to whatever requirements they need. I see. Yeah. I think so. it's about the added values. I believe that, right, yeah. yeah, because I believe that in th in this industry itself is more than just purely the products. There must be a uh, you mentioned that value added service, the yeah, soft yeah. element component yeah, yeah. to value added yeah. client. Yeah. yeah, the software part of the system. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the intangible <laughs> things. The applications. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Can you share with us? You know you guys. Ooh, how often do you go for like um, trade shows or even need to go to shop around for new concept or new ideas or where do you get all these new concepts? <laughs> Actually for us, we're not so much into trade shows, uh -huh. uh, but I think what we, how we keep ourselves updated is uh, in terms of the trends is we are in constant touch with our so-called principles. Mm -hmm. The relationship between ourselves and the principal is very strong and very tight. Sure. Uh, it's a very open communi uh, open communication kind of approach. So in that sense, we we are able to keep ourselves updated where the trends are concerned. Uh, and then there's also feedback from ourselves to our principles. What is the requirement? What is the actual requirements from the client? Uh -huh. yeah, so that also helps them to develop the product to really suit the market requirements. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so where do you guys see yourself in the next 5, 10 or even 20 years? Is there any cash share with us your short, mid and long term goals in your business? Okay. Uh, I think uh, we will want to position ourselves so-called well in the market mm -hmm. over the next two years by building up our uh, capabilities, core capabilities and also probably looking into more wide range of product, diverse product for our client to choose. Mm -hmm. And long term wise definitely we are looking at going to the regional, to be a regional player mm -hmm. in probably Asia Pacific. And already last year we started that program. We have gone to Malaysia. Wow. And now we have clientele even in, in, to, in, in India. In India. Yeah. So long term is definitely to be a global player. Yeah. And everyone recognizes us as the brand to go for in system furniture. Wow, yeah. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> How about Miss Shu, do you have anything to add on in this area? Oh, do you have any goals for yourself in this business, let's say? 
<laughs> I think it's still the passion to <laughs> continue to do what she likes. <laughs> but I think it's really not easy, correct? Because for someone to be so passionate about the work and then, then branch into the own business itself, it's like you know, there's this saying that you know, if you love your work, you'll not even find that you're working at all. Yeah, you just find that you're at play and stuff like that. Exactly. Yeah. So I think that from both of you guys, you mentioned that I'm very, very um. How, how should I say? I'm very, very um um uh, impacted by the statement that you made. I think that we are the best solution <laughs> to the answer itself. So when you know that you, um, the Dabas got or was being nominated and awarded, um, excellent award itself. So how do you feel about it when you first knew that you were being awarded the award? Um, <laughs> when we were approached, so the first thing came to my mind was okay, somebody knew us yes. outside in this market. So I think it's a recognition to us having built the brand and the awareness over the last two years, mm -hmm. and we'll continue to do that in the in the many more years to come. Uh -huh. Yeah. So to us, that is uh, also can consider a new beginning for us to take on new challenges. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's kind of get ready to bulldozer the <laughs> way. <Sure. laughs> exactly. Yeah. So how do you think that this award can help you in the next um, in in terms of service or in terms of recognition or in business? Uh, certainly, again, winning this award basically is a so-called brand recognition mm -hmm. for the company. Okay. And I think we will leverage on the recognition to actually continue to build our brands and the awareness. Sure. Yeah. Can I ask you a very bold question? Yeah. Just wondering, have you guys ever decided to design your own furniture before? <laughs> As in like, you know, because currently I understand that you guys are, um, you have a principle to work with, yeah. but will you ever think that one day, you know, um, you'll be designing your own furniture, producing them and stuff like that? I have no idea. I'm not sure about <laughs> you, but for me, okay, actually my background comes from the engineering. I'm oh. keen into R&D. Okay. Uh, Definitely, that that is something that hopefully one day we can go into. Sure. Yeah, having a product of our own, our own brand, uh -huh. and then able to produce something that is out of the box for the industry. Something which you call yours. <laughs> yes, and also in a more innovative Maybe way to, so. to change the office environment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you see, because in Singapore or even in the latest um and um, business environment, we, all of us know that we are calling asking for flexible working hours, mm -hmm. um, we're trying to work from home or like, you know, in terms of um, offices space itself in Singapore is getting more and more expensive. So most of us are having a small, smaller offices per se. So do you see, as in like in the near near market, in the near future, what differences would that, would that contribute to the business itself? Okay, um, in terms of office trend, I would say people are going more on the more mobile concept. Yes. So, i.e. meaning, it's likely the workstation it will get smaller and it's going to be more mobile. Mm. And I think the working culture more or less will be more open. So we do expect this trend to continue into the future. Mm. But having said that, I think at the end of the day, the concept of uh, working with a desk is still, will still be there. But it's what kind of so-called desk mood do you go into? Wow. Yeah, so I would say that, that that could be the future trend. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. And so, Mr. how about you? Do you have any ideas of, um, because in the, in, the, in the business for 20 over years itself, mm -hmm. I'm sure I've seen a lot of changes in the industry. In that sense, I think the industry has really evolved a lot over the past 20 years. Yes. And um, like what Andrew has mentioned, I think mobility is uh, one key factor, one of the key areas. In fact, a lot of the offices now are more designed towards activity-based kind of environment. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, I think it will make the overall system furniture uh, business a lot more interesting. Wow. Yeah. So in that sense, it will, <laughs> I think, add on to the overall uh, uh, value of what we can offer sure. to the client. Thank you. Thank you for both you guys oh, to come thanks. to our show today and to share with us your experiences and your um, product knowledge in this area itself. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 是的，从今天的专访当中呢，我们都察觉到哈、哦，信心呢是最重要的环节。
不管你在你的企业当中有没有让股力量、热忱或者信心、信心的话呢，那是很重要的。所以呢，希望呢你在最短的时间哈、哦，找出你的热忱跟找出你的信心，让你在你的生意、让你在你的企业上面呢可以发光发亮。你好，我是阿宝，我们下一期再见。Thank、you